What is going on, GW Faction? My name is Joshua Williamson. I it's been a very long time since since this since uh, this video by Bree Wilderness has been out, but um, I figured since I've seen some of my favorite reactors react to this video, I might as well watch it as well. You know this, but um, well, I didn't watch him react to it because you know that would spoil the video for me. But this is bitten by a giant desert centipede. I don't know what a giant desert centipede is. But <laughs> it doesn't sound pretty. It doesn't sound. It doesn't sound pleasant at all. But let's watch. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant that desert. Thing, so, that thing is creepy. Here we go. Ah! Oh my gosh! It's so much worse than a bullet ant sting. Ah! What? Did he just say it was worse than a bullet head thing? Oh my god! I'm I'm in for so I'm in for something pretty, you know, painful. <laughs> That's the best word I can describe it. I was trying to think of some words. Actually, hold on. Because this video was so long, I gotta, I gotta find you know some parts that I, I can actually, you know. Yeah, but wait, 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 wait. There's some interesting parts. Hold on. It's a fair statement to say that I am no stranger to pain. As over the past, yeah, no crap, coyote. I have arguably taken more intentional bites than by an alligator, snapping turtle, crab, than any other human being. Some people say that I'm absolutely crazy. Bonds yep, maybe. Is being admirably fearless. That is a big snapping turtle. Big one. Let's endure these wild experiments so we can all learn about animals and ultimately take away the from our discomfort a newfound respect for these oftentimes misunderstood creatures. Leeches. So while I might be bees. a little crazy, yeah, the bee beard. I remember reacting to that. Fearless, and it made it very clear. That there are only two creatures on this planet that make my skin crawl. The first is infamously known as the toe biter. Toe biter? Typically, this alien looking giant water bug is addressed as the giant water bug, and its bite, which is inflicted with a needle like rostrum, is unbelievably painful. Ah! 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 Since I we hate bugs. One of these insects several years ago, the coyote pack has been requesting both a bite. And aftermath episode. So I faced my fears, safely caught one of these giants, and then in poetic fashion, let it latch on and bite my toe. Oh, it was a pain that I would never forget. Oh, a fear that I probably conquered a oh my god and education. My second Jesus needs no elaborate introduction. Already know what it is. And yes, I will be bitten. By the giant desert centipede. Oh, I hate the way that looks. These voracious predators can occasionally be encountered when exploring the deserts of the southwest. And whether you stumble upon one under the light of day as it disappears into a burrow, or you happen to bear witness to one as it hunts under the darkness of night, the reaction by most is usually the same. Screaming, running in the opposite direction, and then mentally navigating a thick cloud of disbelief for what your eyes had just seen. A giant, leg covered. Ah, it's, it's, it's making me it's just looking at that thing. Only have materialized within one's most horrifying nightmare. However, this is no bad dream, and it's certainly no figment of your imagination. In fact, this animal is as real as it gets, and for me, the moment you have all been waiting for is closer than you think.
We'll see you. Oh, it's going good. Where? Giant Jones Jones, right here. Right on the other side of this bush. Wow, look at that. Hold on a second. Let me try to bring it out here for you guys. Jesus. Pick it up with this. Here. Oh, no, no. It's moving. Here, give me that Tupperware container. Mario, get that uh, container he's, he's, back. He's got to have Tupperware to capture it. Oh, it's not working. Get him? No, no, no. It's so fast. I can't grab onto it. Ah, hurry, hurry, hurry. I got a pin. Oh, 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 nice. Got it. Ah, Woo! that is a big. I, seriously, that, that's that's making my skin crawl just looking at that thing. The bite from this creature is one of. Seriously, I, I got I got this 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 crawling feeling in my leg just just by look just by looking at that centipede. Seriously, I cannot stand looking at bugs. The most painful here in the southwest, and if there's one creature that gets my heart racing, it is the giant desert centipede. Wow, that is a big one too. You see that uh, centipede there? That might be the biggest one I've seen. That's making me itch. Very well, maybe. Wow, you're looking at a living nightmare right there. Look at that thing. Yeah, no crap. That's creepy man. Oh, my gosh, I can't tell you how many people have requested me to get bitten by this creature. It's a lot. It's a lot of people have been wanting to know how bad the bite is from this thing. I can see as your gears grinding. It's got me a little nervous. Well, I'm definitely not going to do it under the darkness of night. What I might be willing to do is sleep on it, and maybe tomorrow, under daylight, we consider it. But in the moment right now, I'm thinking no, absolutely not. But I got to admit, part of me is curious, but part of me is just incredibly fearful. You're shaking your head now. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Even the cameraman is scary. Is I mean, it's scared. <laughs> Sorry, scared. Well, let's do this. We can certainly hold on to it overnight. Worst case scenario, we do another episode with it tomorrow. Just kind of look at it. It's anatomy under the light of day, and we cross that bridge when we get to it. How about that? Okay, I can agree. With you. Okay, well, let's hold on to it and uh, see what else we can find tonight. Woo Man. That's going to top off the night right there. Great spot, dude. Man, that's crazy. I'd love my cut out. Advertisement. In public, you know the feeling. A night right there. No, I don't care about the Man, feeling. That's crazy. Oh, a spider. Or is that a tarantula? I believe that's a tarantula. So I hate looking at that at that thing. I really hate this looking at that thing. This giant desert centipede. They aren't kidding. Look at the size of that myriapod. Wow. It's even more intimidating in the daylight than it is at night. Now we caught this creature last night, and I said, "All right, let's hold on to it. Let me sleep on it. Let me think if I really want to be bitten by this creature." Here we are. I wouldn't. Seven o'clock in the morning. I think we all know what's going to happen. All right, guys, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be bitten by the giant desert centipede so that I can explain to you just how painful the bite of this creature really is. Now, before we get into the bite, let's take a look at the anatomy of this creature. It's just, it's like Jesus a Christ. design for everything that is creepy. Now, it is an arthropod, like all insects and arachnids, but technically, it's a myriapod, also related to millipedes. And when it comes to centipedes, hmm, the giant okay. desert is the largest in the United States. And this is a creature that you don't often come across because they're strictly nocturnal. Now, it is so hard to sit behind this container and look at this creature. I mean, you can hear its little legs scratching on the inside of this capsule. Whoa! I mean, Mark, seriously, have you ever seen a creature that's more nightmarish than this? Nope, and I know this is something you've been not looking forward to. Well, people often want to know, is there anything that scares Coyote Peterson? I jump on alligators, I jump into swamps to catch snapping turtles, I handle black widows and golden orb weave spiders, but the centipede, Gosh, ever since he's I was crazy. Kid, for some reason, just, just always been like, uh, I don't want to get near that thing, because it has so many legs, and each one of those legs has a little hook on it, so when they grab onto something, they grapple onto something, and when they bite, those fangs ratchet down and they hold on. 
So this is not necessarily a bite and run, this could be a bite and hold. Yes, uh, you know, when I've been stung by things in the past, I hold on to them with the entomology forceps. And when I do that, I like- I hate looking at that. Falls right I hate looking at that. In this instance, this myriapod is capable of holding on to me and inflicting more than one bite. All right, well. Let's do this at this point, because I know you guys want to get a slightly better look at it. I'm going to actually take it out of this plastic container so we can get a good look at its body segmentation and the little hooks on those feet. You ready for that? Okay, let's do it. All right, I have to do that. I'm going to just gently... <sighs> I gotta actually pin my head to do this. Jesus Christ! It is. Take it out of this No, I, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, that is because they are speedy and they are lethal. Let me see if I can actually... Yeah. You might need to set of There's just no good way to go about this. <sighs> that was a committed grab if I've ever seen God, that's making my, my skin, skin crawl. Each, you? No, but each one of these little leg segments is incredibly sharp. Look at that body. <sighs> wow, and it is incredibly rigid. The exoskeleton on this animal is rock solid. And each one of those little leg segments grapples onto you, and it tries to pull itself down so that the fangs can bite. Now, those fangs are actually called maxilliped, and they are modified legs on... Almost getting me right now. My goodness. Almost got me right there. <laughs> <laughs> Almost I got him. Have as good a hold as I thought I did. I can actually see venom coming out of the maxilli pad. Wow, look at those. Okay, that's a slightly better hold. It almost was capable of completely wrapping its body down and inflicting that bite sooner than we wanted it to. Wow, that is intimidating. Okay, yeah, that is intimidating. To hold on to because it is so incredibly. See, I've come across centipedes outside of my house. Okay, I haven't come across a giant desert centipede, but I have come across centipedes, and I immediately run after I see them. So they they freak me out just by looking at them. Strong. All right, guys, I'm gonna place it back into the plastic container here. Take a minute to compose myself, and then. <sighs> We're gonna head into the bite. You ready? Really gently, and there we go. Yes. Woo! I thought it bit in there. They escaped a bite there. All right, guys. Let me give you a little testimonial here. So as we know, they've taken many bites. Some of them not yep, a snake. some of them venomous, lots of stings, and the giant desert centipede is the one animal that I always thought to myself, you know what, I never want to be bitten by that creature. But I have the opportunity to do this, and I guess part of me is doing it for curiosity, part of me is doing it for science, and part of me is doing it to find out just how painful this bite really is. Now, I've heard... Yeah, I see what you mean, Coyote. More painful than a I see what you mean. Not as painful as a Gila monster, which I've been bitten by, and some people say it's no more painful than a honeybee sting. So, it's all about how my body reacts to the venom. Now, it is going to attack my red blood cells, and I don't know what that will do. Uh, it could potentially rot a hole in my arm. It may just cause some local Maybe. swelling and pain, and I may be just fine. Um, but I've kind of climbed the insect sting pain index, and I feel when it comes to bites, this has got to be the last one. <sighs> mm. I'll remember that. I won't get. I won't get anywhere near, near any kind of centipede. This just became a reality. Wow! There it is, the giant desert centipede, and I'm about to be bitten by it. <sighs> okay. Well, the next thing we need to do is actually get it out of this plastic container, and to do that, I'm gonna gently go in and pin it. Ready? <sighs> God, I hate, I hate seeing wiggle around like that. Ugh. Uh. Okay, gotta hold on it. Oh, 
Man, those little legs are digging into me. Oh, it's making, it's making me itch. Those fangs. My goodness. It's making my skin crawl. I do, as always, have enough enough from Penn. Just stating that for the record. Yep. That's and handy. What's that, that? Emergency satellite phone. Always important. Never had to use it. Please don't let it be the first time. Camera three rolling. <laughs> GoPro is rolling. Okay. Here we go. Ready? I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be bitten by the giant desert centipede. Here we go. One, two. Did you, see, did you see how he grabbed onto his arm? Ah! Oh my god! Ah. Right there, there's the fangs when you see those puncture marks. Oh yeah. Wow. Ah. Immediately searing! Oh my gosh, this is so much worse than a bullet ant sting! Gosh! And that's where you know that it's a painful sting. If he's he he got stung by a bull down, if you haven't seen that video. And the the bite from a human from a centipede worse than a bullet ant, the one that has the probably the most painful sting in the insect kingdom. Gosh dang. Oh my gosh, this is the worst pain I have felt since the Gila Monster. This absolutely just completely eclipses all the insect stings I've taken. Ah, oh, ah. How sharp are the fangs? Hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Ah, ah, ah. She really went in right there. Ah, Double chomp. Ah. Could you even see that? Double shot. And like curled the skin up and then like yeah. the second time. Did you see? Uh, let me let me get let me get back to that real quick. Could you even see that? It bit and like curled the skin up. You see you see where he curled the skin up right right there? Whew. Gosh dang. And then let go and bit a second time. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't know it bit a second time. Wow. Uh, Did blood come to the surface? Talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. Okay, I gotta okay. Know, I gotta know you're not like in serious trouble. It's a different pain than any sting I've taken. It's searing. It is absolutely I hate, searing. I hate that movement right there. Uh, 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 sorry, I can't compose words right now, man. Uh, uh. Crazy. You let me know if you feel like you're in trouble. Yeah. Any swelling in the mouth? I'm just, I need some water, I need some water. Oh my gosh. Gosh. Describe me where you feel the pain. Is it just like localized to the, the bite? It's going up my arm. It's ah. just like the venom of heel monster. Man, look ah. at the welts that are forming on my arm. Uh. Dude, we might need to use that venom extractor. This is... Uh. <sighs> I've never seen him like that before. Is he, wait, is he crying? Just cut the, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. We gotta get the venom extracted. We gotta get some venom on my arm. Ah! No, I'm serious. Cut the, cut the cameras, cut the cameras. Ah! Is he crying? Never before had I asked for the cameras to be turned off. 
during a interesting <laughs> episode. Never before had I been in such uncontrollable pain. And never before had we not completed an episode. this episode was intense stay tuned for the epic conclusion as we show you exactly what happened to me oh. after i was bitten by the giant desert centipede and don't forget subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of breaking trail coyote I never expected you to say anything was worse than a bullet ad sting. I really didn't. I I honestly did not expect that. Now I don't want to go to a desert because of that. So, <sighs> centipedes already freak me out just by looking at them. All right. See, I've come across some some centipedes outside of my house, and I can't stand the look of the look of them. You know, they 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 make my skin crawl. <sighs> But a centipede that big? Jeez, a, a sting worse than a bullet at. And that, that I, I don't know if he actually was, but it looked like that actually made him cry. <sighs> yeah, I'm not going to a desert after watching that. <clears throat> But what do you guys think? Post down some below. Let me know what your opinion is on this. If you like this video, thumbs up. Hit this video, thumbs down. I want social media, my Patreon, me down below. Subscription box was into the original video if you want to watch it. And be sure to subscribe button. Be sure to click the subscribe button and become a member of the JW Fashion on a journey to 1,000 subscribers. See you later.